If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're kind of going through it right now. Or you've already been a subscriber and you were just curious. Either way, I think that if you're on this channel, you're watching this video, you've probably gone through a bad come down, just like the rest of us. In this video, that's kind of what I want to talk about. I want to give you my advice as to how to get through a really bad come down and what you can do to make it a little bit easier on yourself, at least in my opinion. I understand that come downs come in all shapes and sizes for different people and it's always different, but I want to do my best to kind of give you guys my advice because I actually have gone through a couple of the worst come downs of my entire life the past couple months. I will go into detail on those experiences in a future trip stories video. Just know it was pretty crazy and the aftermath was even crazier. So if you're going through a bad come down, like I said, they're always different. Determining on who you are, determining on what substance you did, determining on your exact situation, it's always gonna be different. So all I can really do in this video is give you my advice based off of my experiences and based off of who I am. I've had more come downs and come ups than I could count that I can even remember. Um, I'm not a trained therapist professional, but I've, I've been there. So I wanna do my best to kinda help you along your way if I can, if possible, so. I think the first thing you gotta tell yourself, and what I always tell myself, now at least, is that it is temporary, that it will go away, and this is not forever. What you're feeling right now, that empty, lonely sadness, that depression, that damn near suicidal thoughts or suicidal thoughts, all of that is because you took drugs and it will go away. Bottom line, you have to understand that you don't always feel this way. This is odd, is it not? Think about a week ago, think about two weeks ago. You weren't feeling how you feel now. It is temporary and it will go away. You have to tell yourself, you have to believe it. And when you do that, things kind of get a little uh, kind of weird because you start to sense your how your body works and how you can like physically and psychologically feel sad and depressed and lonely. But you could also see those feelings happening and you can know that it's kind of bullshit. That it's literally just chemicals in your brain making you feel this way or the lack of chemicals in your brain. So like I said, that's, that's the first thing I have to tell myself, you know, and I have told myself in the past, you know, few months and every other come down I've had is that it'll go away and that you're not always going to feel this way. That's very important because I think that we tend to get wrapped up in the emotion and we get wrapped up in the kind of talk ourselves into feeling like we're going to feel like this forever. Like this is just what it is now and it's not. So you must, must believe that. And that to me is one of the most important things. A lot easier said than done. I understand that. Trust me. And it's been like weeks since I came up with this idea to make this video. And because I had bad come downs and because when the come down was gone, I didn't really want to talk about it because it kind of took me back to that place a little bit. I, ha I have yet to make this video till now. So I understand that me saying this can kind of be frustrating. You know, I, I understand that. That is easier said than done. Take that with a grain of salt. I think that another thing that I even recently have failed to do is rest properly, is to really, really, really sleep and chill you know i don't want to recommend to do drugs to come down from drugs but if you need to take some nyquil or a sleeping pill or so uh to sleep you need to do it because you will continue to get worse the lack of sleep will make your experience worse and it will snowball and snowball and then you won't want to sleep because you almost be afraid to sleep for some people they don't give a shit they're gonna sleep no matter what for me, I feel like I get this uh, this idea in my head that it's like I'm almost nervous to go lay down because then my thoughts are just going to control me and I'm going to go, it's going to get worse. But actual rest helps so much. If you need to call off from work, if you need to blow something off in order to get back in the right mind state and you can do it responsibly, I would say to do it because your mental health should be first priority. You should almost plan ahead for your come down. Uh, if you're going to do drugs, honestly. So that should probably be like number three. It's just plan ahead, be prepared. 
understand that it can and it may not it, it, it probably will happen unless you're like some people who just don't experience come downs like that some people are and it's funny because i talk to people that i know about come downs and stuff and they're like eh, never an issue for me uh for me it is it's a, it's a big issue and i've noticed you know the older i've gotten the more drugs i've done the worse that they have gotten so plan ahead know yourself be responsible and that's also very important also, another point I want to make is that forcing yourself to produce more serotonin in your brain is extremely important. Doing something that makes you happy, something that is makes you feel ambitious, like you're gaining something from it, is extremely important. Even if you feel like you're going to throw up while you're doing it. Even if you could do it a little bit of it. Um, for me, it's, it's like cleaning. It's making money. It's... Uh, making music even, making a YouTube video. Do whatever makes you happy and whatever gives you confidence and whatever is gonna be fun, honestly, have some fun. I know that you had enough fun before. Usually, the type of fun I'm saying to have isn't like go out and spend money and you know do something crazy. I mean like, like work out, clean your house, um, make some money somehow do you like even go to some people enjoy going to work and it gives them you know the boost they need do whatever that is for you even if it feels like shit to do it because i promise you it may suck you may want to throw up you may be gagging the whole time you may you know feel like shit while doing it but i guarantee you at the end you're gonna feel a lot better if you smoke weed smoke some fucking weed maybe don't smoke too much but smoke some weed um, take that with a grain of salt because every, you know, weed reacts differently to everyone. Uh, but for me personally, I even have to force myself to smoke weed sometimes because obviously it can bring back the effects of some drugs. If you smoke right after during the come down, you know, it can bring back the effect. Usually it's the more positive effects, but it can also be a, a more, if you're, if you're having some sort of like a paranoid come down and you're having paranoia and and thought loops and shit like that the marijuana might even you know make it worse so like i said take that with a grain of salt for me i have to smoke weed and it helps a lot distract yourself another thing i'd say is to do your best to not sulk i know easier said than done trust me but i'm speaking specifically uh from my experiences and I know I have to force myself not to sulk and to not just sit there and dwell on the negative thoughts I'm having and to make it worse. I have to literally force myself to distract myself. Luckily, I have children, I have a wife, and I don't do drugs like that. I don't really have come downs like I have in the past couple months. But luckily, I have them to distract me. I have responsibilities and things like that, that no matter what, I'm gonna be distracted either way. But I do remember being young and allow myself to just sit there and lay in bed and just think and it made it nothing but worse so if you have to invite a friend over you have to go somewhere you don't normally go even if you're forcing yourself to do something you don't really want to in that moment do it and i'd say my final thought would be to understand that this is part of why drugs are helpful to people even the negative come down even the suicidal thoughts and the horrible, lonely, empty pit you feel in your chest right now is good for you. It reminds you of how it is day to day and how much better you feel on a day to day basis than you do in this moment. It's part of growing. It's part of learning that there is more to, it's part of, in my opinion at least, the drug experience, psychedelic experience, whatever you know you wanna call it. To me, bad come downs and bad trips are the biggest lessons that we can learn and knowing that that what you're feeling right now is gonna pass and you're learning from it can really really snap you out of it and get you back to where you need to be and like i said the most important thing is to understand that it's temporary you'll not always feel like this and it will go away so feel better man if you're on this video because you feel like shit, you did the right thing. You're already trying to look for help. You're already trying to look for a way to get out of it. So just do it. Go smoke something. Go talk to someone. Go chill. Go enjoy your life. You're alive. You're breathing. You're you're here. You're right now. You're right. You're this is happening now. There's people who don't have this option. There's people who will give anything to just be able to 
be around their family, just to have a conversation with their family, people who are locked up forever, people who are in horrible situations around the world. You are lucky enough to be able to look up a YouTube video and try to get better. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you the best. Smoke something, drink something. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make all types of psychedelic content, drug content, games, all kinds of crazy stuff. Also be sure to check out audible484.com. Uh, you can get yourself a shirt just like this. Uh, and you'll also help support myself and the channel. Actually, you know what? If, if you know what this formula is, comment below. Yeah, you can buy this exact shirt. I guess that's it. I miss you guys. I will see you guys so soon. Sooner than you think. Have a great, 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 great day. And we'll see you next time. Peace.